We're in what I like to call the danger zone, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shlake the Buster. I Shinobi. We have episodes 182 and 183 of our One Piece watch today. Now it, it is going down. And I've said that for the last 10 or so, but it's going down again. Everybody is Dunzo McBunzo, except Luffy. I guess Nami, but oh, I mean, I would say what can Nami do? But like, what can Luffy even do against Inaru? The Ark Maxim has finally been revealed to us being this gigantic airship that's supposedly powered through gold and in, in, in Eneru's lightning and now Luffy is supposedly off to go find Nami and Eneru and I guess we'll see what happens. I'm nervous. Again, I have absolutely no idea how can they, they can possibly defeat him seeing as he brought himself back from the dead by defibrillating himself. But well, there's only one way to find out so we're gonna hop into it. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big boy bell and let's get started. Well, this is on the way to warn everybody. But the question is, will they believe her? I see this being a boy cried wolf scenario, but We'll see. The god dang white berets, man. This is what I'm saying. They, they've already been brainwashed, basically. Yeah, there's this preconceived notion about Konis. If only you knew, Mr. White Beret, that god, said god Inaru is, is against you right now, to say the least. His all. But they do it like behind his all. Oh, I get it. It's the two because they have like the little things on their head. That makes sense. <laughs> he doesn't care. Said God does not care if you are included in that that casualty. He's like perfect. They're shooting arrows at her from no hesitation. Bob and weave, Bob and weave, Gonis for Papa. The blasphemer. Yeah, interesting. Why would she do this? I just don't see this working out in the slightest for Konis, unfortunately. Bro, she ain't slowing down. I like how she's still like, like, kind of polite about it. Please get out of my way. Please, I don't want to hurt you. Oh, and this is where he perishes. These god dang white berets, man. I, I can't tell if I should love them for how goofy they are, but... Oh my god! Just slammed into him. It looks like Nami. Shorter hair. <laughs> tell him, Connors. Tell him the truth. Come on. <laughs> She's seen as like Satan. Yeah. They're more worried about themselves. Is that Inaru's laugh? I guess he sees it going down. <laughs> She should be watching after Usopp and Sanji. She's trying to find out a little bit more information. Why is his case special? Using my lightning power. Read radio waves? Oh my gosh. That, that kind of actually makes sense if he is like the embodiment of lightning. He does have ears everywhere, basically. It's about as close as you can get to powers like that. What do you mean? What, what's, what's with this guy? Obviously, he's crazy. She's like, I just gotta commit to this life. Okay, <laughs> everybody else. Thinking. She thinks that like he can like read her mind or something. Oh, I'd be petrified, man. <gasps> Here's Luffy. Is Luffy just like strolling in? Not whether they listen or don't listen, it's up to them whether or not they want to live. I would be like harsh on them, but they're all just brainwashed. It's, it's more sad than anything. They were raised in this way to believe through all this. Damn, Khan is slick with it though. She'll blow you up, baby. What are you screaming about? Nobody wants to see that, but chill. I feel like there'd be a couple people that's like, maybe she's on to something and just straight up dip. This god is kind of mean. Why would she just make this up? If she was a citizen here for so long. <sighs> They're all just worried about being struck in a beam. She got tomato. Why is he apologizing right after the fact? You just threw that tomato. Stick by it. Like, well, I tried. She's realizing like an aggressive approach won't work. Oh, she's rejecting him. 
I think she's saying like strike me down right now. And if he doesn't, then like God Enteru is nothing. Like they, they, they'll all realize. Is he going to? I think Inaru's, if anything, more amused by this than anything. He doesn't care enough to kill her right now. Well, nothing's happening. Interesting. Yeah. Why would he not strike her down? She speaks the truth. That was actually really smart of her. Kind of like calling Inaru's bluff. And her father was like a, a liked man. Yeah, I bet you regret throwing that tomato, little Timmy. Don't ya? It's like some people are gonna start to believe her now. At least. They just pick their lives up. Yeah, that, that's so. That's such a foreign concept to them. Or we all take up arms and go fight Inaru. Yeah, he can't stop us all. Actually, he probably could. Surely he'll change his mind. Oh. Um, Connors, I don't, I don't know if that's gonna get your point across. <laughs> He's like, chill, please. Was that just to shut them up? Uh, she's giving it her best shot. They're starting to listen to her, like genuinely. Oh. Let's go, Goddess! Yes! MVP, girl! Let's go! Damn! Hell yeah! I did not expect that to work out. Ooh. Ooh, guys, uh, let's have this conversation later because this is a tough one. I think he was the last one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this is so awkward. Oh. Let's go! Yes! Hell yeah! That's my man! Stick up for Connus! Captain McKinley Redemption Arc! It's like he always knew. Deep down. Yeah, I was gonna say that's a quick change of pace. What? What? He just nuked his home island? Oh, what? And you knew about this, McKinley? That's a terrifying shot. They served Gonfall, too. He has always just held this down. I didn't know the extent of how long he had been in charge or how long the White Barista had been in charge. Yeah, why go against Inaru? Who kind of bad now? I've been dunking on the white race for so long. He just yeah, did what he could. Would like to help them. That's all. All right, all right, the mood is lifted. Come on, Luffy, let's go. No time to waste. Even Pierre's on the move. So he heard him running from the very beginning. Or carry everybody else? But she knows they're in danger if they're here. He's planning on just destroying everything. Bro, everybody's out of commission. Let's go, Isa! I'm ready for Isa to 1v1 in a room. I actually think she might be the key here with her mantra. There's something like there's more to it. Oh, Luffy's a man on a goddamn mission. Look at he's wall running like it's Black Ops 3. Yeah, where could they have been? <laughs> she knows. Oh, dude, this will be a showdown. Luffy hasn't even seen Enaru yet, which is crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> Nami's face! She's so hype. It's like a breath of fresh air. Oh shoot. The confrontation, baby. I want to be excited, but dude, ah, uh, it's Inaru. Watch your mouth, boy. Because I said so. <laughs> Pierre and they're, they're both hiding. 
Oh. The angels party? Is he gonna speed up his plan then? Gosh. Answer his question! Damn. That's cold. Oh, this is just not gonna go well. I'm not... uh, he, he already showed his hand, which I mean, it's whatever. Paramythia? What? Is like the type of power he has? So like his subdivision? Please go. Please don't. Come on. Don't just one shot him. Surely it doesn't just one shot him. Oh, yeah, he's okay. Wait, did Inaru miss? Oh yeah, he did. He dodged El Thor. That's so cool, he hits the drum. Why did he just eat that? Dodge again! Oh. What? Is it because he's rubber and rubber wouldn't conduct? Oh my gosh! I never even thought about it like that! It won't conduct! He's a goddamn rubber man! His face! What the f? What was that? He's so stunned that somebody can resist it! <laughs> this has never happened before! Yeah. Dude! Luffy's in his one and only natural enemy. How did I never even remotely think about that? Am I that stupid? I know some of you are going to comment like, Jack, it, it was going to be so obvious. But like, uh, the, it, it makes a lot of sense. Rubber wouldn't conduct through lightning or electricity. He could just eat it. He could just take that. So now it's going to be a straight up like sparring battle between the two. I'm here for it. Episode 183. Let's go. I got to blow my nose so bad. I wonder if I can run. I'm going to run. God dang, dude, that is a unit of a ship. Their faces, bro. Dude, Luffy clapped his cheeks, buttered him up, and just started slapping. I'm not gonna get too overconfident yet. He's not down for the countdown for the count. Eneru should have gone down to the blue sea and applied for the warlord position. He honestly could have gotten it. This dude is actually really strong. Way stronger than Crocodile, if I'm being honest. He's just unlucky that Luffy's made out of rubber. Wait, does he not even know what rubber is? He's like confused by the concept. Oh, there's the two to three second input delay. Well, now he realizes he needs to just like kind of take himself out of the scenario. If he doesn't allow Luffy to hit him, he doesn't. I mean, there's nothing else he has to do. No, it's the mantra. Yeah, see, he gets the... Oh! What? He hit him right in the worst place, possible place. Oh. This is why I said, I mean, he can't use his lightning, but he can still beat him down. Yeah. He was shocked at first, but now the initial shock's gone. I mean, they, they kind of will. Like. Mm -hmm. What is this disgusting rubber? Yeah, what is Paramythia? Can you elaborate? Keep the original form. What? He's turning it into a sword? Oh! Whoa, it's like a trident. That is so cool. Slashing attacks. Why would you say yeah? Well, you don't care, bro. You can't, man. You're gonna have to think more. <laughs> you have to think through it more. That is so cool. He's just traveling up the gold. Oh my gosh. Well, it was going really well. What? Is it turning his blood into gold? What is that? Oh, it's burning. Oh my gosh. The heat does. Yeah. He's starting to figure out Luffy's weaknesses. Big boy, yes! There you go, baby! Put him down! Get in there, Pierre! Let's go! Oh. 
Oh my gosh, he just caught his Gatling. That was a pretty Giga Chad move. I, I can't even lie. I love how he's spinning it. Dude, Inaru is so cool. I have to be honest. Is he gonna launch the ship? He is 200 million volts! Oh, shoot. Wait, he has to be somewhat, like, weakened when he's powering the ship, right? That's a lot of electricity. There has to be some limit to how much he can use at one time. Oh, shoot. Arg Maximus taking off. Endless birth. I still want to know what that is. He can't just be referring to the land below. Because it's not endless. There's sea. Dude. What a battleground, though. This giant arc. It's such a cool design, too. Calm down, Nami. Calm down. <laughs> She's like, if I'm on board when he's defeated, we all die. Panic, panic, panic. Is he just breaking through the top? The hat's off. Oh, he's tossing it to her. He means business, baby. No buts. <laughs> Hell yeah. The seven seas. Yes, sir. Oh, shoot. Dog, it's enormous. Large and in charge. Dude, he's just plowing through the forest. No! Run, little wolf, run! It's not moving? Oh, did he, like, miscalculate? He already needs to go, like, pick up, like, all the others and try to carry them to safety before everything collapses. Oh, they hear, like, the rumbling now. Oh, no! McKinley! Do they have ships for the regular sea? Panic, 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 panic! Oh, old man! Damn. I'm not shocked that more people wouldn't like would react like that. I mean, he's lived his whole life under that pretense. That's so sad. Yes! Dude, the redemption arc of McKinley is insane! Come on, Grandpa, let's go! Live your life! Yes! Now get out of here! It's all! Head to the Shandians. Oh, that's nice that they're actually like looking out for them, trying to help warn them too. It's all. Is that water inside the ship? Oh, so he doesn't have to keep powering it. He just does it one time. This is Death Pia. Death Pia is kind of a metal name. Wait, what? Is it like toxic smoke? Boy, it's really setting the stage. The climax of all of this. Dude, the stairs coming out of the cloud is so funny to me. This is the old village elder. Okay, they do have ships. I mean, I knew they had ships. I just didn't know how many they had. I mean, they've never needed to prepare for straight up evacuation. So you know what the clouds are. They're all thunderclouds? Oh my gosh. That's insane. It'll just start striking lightning down everywhere. Dude, he planned this out. Damn. So it begins. Oh my gosh. That is one. Run. Run, everybody, run! Bro, what about that one dude that, like, overslept today? He's just, like, taking his mid-afternoon nap. Where's everybody going? <laughs> now, she's going back to try to help them, but also she's supposed to be looking after Sanji Newsop, so she's gonna go back to the ship. I mean, at least he doesn't even try to deny it. He's calling it a party. I don't think he knows what a party is. They seem, I don't want to say dead even in terms of sparring. I don't know. I think, I think Inaru leaves himself up to more like vulnerability than I previously anticipated, especially in terms of sparring. But he's relying so heavily on his lightning up until now. He doesn't need him to do this. You have to like prepare for him to predict. 
Or... Oh. Wait, he actually thought of something? What? What? What did he just empty his head of any thought? <laughs> what? It's just like grass. Oh my god! If he doesn't know what's happening, how can Enaru? It's genius! <laughs> this, is, uh, this, this fight between them is so funny. Another idea? Luffy, you are real. What is happening anymore, man? That place? He's got a plan. I'm proud of him for this critical thinking. Maybe he's gonna try to have him destroy the ship? No, nah, I don't think Inaru is that like. Oh, he's just gonna start trying to destroy the ship. Oh, he gave himself like enclosures. What is he doing? His lab. <laughs> Are they ricocheting? Yes! Oh my gosh! He did ricochet, yeah! The punches aren't controllable! Dude, Luffy is so vibing right now! I'm so proud! Damn! Oh my gosh! Double tap, hit him always down! It's coming? What's coming? He's talking about Luffy? He's desperate. God damn, what a couple episodes. We finally get the showdown between Luffy and Enaru. And my goodness, Luffy is like exceeding every expectation I've ever set for him. He's outsmarting him. He's he's adapting to the situation. He's adapting to the scenario. He's adapting to Enaru's powers. Like what more can I ask? And it's actually a solid fight because there's, I, I mean, there's so much outsmarting going on between the two because Enaru also on the other hand has to learn about rubber and learn to try to outplay that rubber. But I also like the concept of death Pia because it works in, in direct conjunction with his power just these giant clouds that conduct lightning like 20 times stronger than regular just all around both of these episodes Khan is convincing all the people to run the short like little sequence with the old man where he told him like you need to live for yourself like it's not up to anybody else to tell you when you're allowed to die just what it's, it's like the peak of this 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 arc and it's delivering like crazy I'm pretty sure we still have like 14 or 15 episodes left if I checked the list but my goodness it, it is it is reaching this climax in just a way I, I couldn't have asked more for but guys that's been it for episodes 182 and 183 of our one piece watch through do drop us up on the channel if you are new i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace